Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Mathematics. Today I am going to discuss about the arithmetic progression, geometric progression and harmonic progression but in a different vision. So for that let us start with the AP. So what is AP? Let A1, A2, AN be an arithmetic progression. So this one is an arithmetic progression. Here A1 is the first term and A2 minus A1 is D that is the common difference. So that the sequence we can write in this form a, a plus d, a plus 2d in this way and the nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d. So that here the nth term tn we can express in general as a plus n minus 1 into d that we know. Now if we replace this n by x, if we replace this n by x and tn by y then this expression can be written as y is equals to a plus x minus 1 into d. If we simplify, then we will find out this one is equals to dx plus a minus d. Again, if we replace d by m and a minus d by c, then this one we will find out as y is equals to mx plus c. Now I think it one, this one is a very much known equation to you. Yes, this one is the linear equation. This one is the equation of a straight line. So, we can say that from here, any AP, arithmetic progression, can be expressed by a straight line or a linear representation. So, if this sequence we just plot in the graph paper, then what we will find out here? So, if here x x is true, we say that these are the x values and the y axis through if it is the tn values that means these are the 1 2 3 4 for all n it is increasing these values and for corresponding a1 a2 a3 these terms for this y axis then if we plot accordingly then we will find out all the points should lie in a straight line so i hope you can visualize now what is your ap in fact any ap series means it is just lying on a straight line. But just remember, any straight line or any curved line means it is a continuous form. But in the AP series, we will find out here the points only in the consideration. So it is the discrete case, but its representation in the form of geometry. In fact, any AP series you can be plotted in a straight line. So any straight line in reverse, can we say that any straight line means it is an AP? Yes, if in a straight line, if we consider the equispaced points, equispaced points, then we can say this one forming an AP, arithmetic progression. Similarly, we can have a visualization regarding the GP, geometric progression also. Let x1, x2, x3, xn be a geometric progression. So its first term we can say it is a1 is equals to a and its common ratio is a2 by a1 is equals to r. So we can say r is the common ratio. Hence on this slide we can write this geometrical progression in the form of a, a r, a r square in this way. Hence its nth term is a r to the power n minus 1. That again we know. So now if we replace this tn by y and n by x, then we will find out the same expression as y is equals to a r to the power x minus 1, which is an exponential function. I hope you know what is exponential function. If you don't know what is exponential function, then write me in the comment box. I will try to explain what is exponential function and how to find out its curve. So anyways, here the gp is your exponential function so if we plot this one in the graph paper then we will find out this type of picture so here corresponding to the x-axis if we plot n values and corresponding to y-axis if we plot the corresponding tn that is the terms are there and if we plot them then we will find out corresponding to the first r value or one value we will have the initial value a if it is 2 then that means n value increasing 2 then its value is ar if it is 3 then it is ar square 
if it is 4 then it is a r q so this one is your exponential function and it will move like this one likewise our h p also we can express in the form of a geometrical uh, representation so let us have a uh, look so if a1 a2 a3 a n be an h p then we know that its first term is 1 upon a c if we say that its first term is 1 upon c that means a1 is equals to 1 upon a and first term of the corresponding ap is then a and its common difference of that ap is d we know any hp sequence means we at first consider its corresponding arithmetic progression after that we find out the first term and the first term and the common difference of that ap and on that light we calculate everything corresponding to the AP and finally we take the reverse of that, that one to get the corresponding uh, answer for the HP. So here AP for the A is the first term and D is the common difference. So on that light that expression can be written in this way. So this one is our HP sequence. So in this HP sequence the TN is what? This TN is 1 upon A plus N minus 1 into D that we know from our previous lecture. Now, if we replace dn by y and here this entire expression we say this one is our x. So that we can say this y is equals to a function of x that is fx is equals to 1 by x we can write. Where this x varies from a to a plus n minus 1 into d. x value definitely initially the value of x is a. After that the value of x is a, a plus d. Then the value of x is a plus 2d. In this way, finally, the value of x is a plus n minus 1 into d. So that we can say that the function here x varies from a to a plus n minus 1 into d. Hence, we can say y is equals to 1 upon x that is x inverse which is an exponential function too. This one is the inverse function and that is definitely a exponential function too. So if we plot this one in the graph paper, then we will find out this type of function if corresponding to this axis, this one x axis, we plot this a, a plus d, a plus 2d and corresponding to the y axis, if we plot the values 1 by a first term, then 1 by a plus d, that is the second term. So that point is 1 plus 1 by a plus d. Likewise, this term is our 1 by a plus 2d. In this way, it will proceed and we will find out this exponential function. So this one is the graph for the corresponding HP. So in this way any sequence that is AP, GP, HP we can plot in a graph paper and if we plot a sequence in this way in a graph paper then we have a very clear visualization regarding this sequence. So that is the main thing for this video. I just want to give you a visual effect of this AP, GP and HP. I hope you understand and you get a different vision to understand this APGPHP. Have a nice day and stay safe. Thank you all.